Hello there. Welcome to Sean Academy. Today in this video we're going to learn how to start a logging business. My name is Sarah and I will be your instructor in this video. Now, before we start a logging business, let's take a closer look at what goes into starting one and how we can make yours profitable. The logging industry is a massive one in both the United States of America and Canada. Logging companies are well known for their contributions to house construction and the forestry industry. Because logs are used to construct the majority of houses in the United States and Canada, log sales are inextricably linked to the real estate industry. Starting a logging company may appear to be a costly venture, but it is extremely profitable. It is capital-intensive due to the cost of purchasing logging equipment and obtaining licenses and permits. Without a doubt, the industry is heavily regulated by both the federal and state governments, and any logging company found to be in violation of the law is always dealt with. Starting a logging company necessitates careful planning and preparation, you will need to obtain training, which could include a degree in forestry or a college diploma in forestry management. The truth is that no matter what type of business you start, you must conduct market research, economic and cost analysis, and, of course, feasibility studies. If you do everything correctly before starting your logging business, it won't be long before you break even and start smiling to the bank. Step 1. Research the industry. Logging companies purchase and lease log harvesting equipment and vehicles, which they then use to fell trees. The trees are then transported as saw logs to small businesses such as sawmills and pulp mills, among others. It is critical to note that the logging industry does not include businesses involved in tree breeding, planting, or growth. The timber services industry includes businesses that provide these services. The logging industry is indeed large and should not be taken lightly. It is no surprise that there is a university degree dedicated to forestry. As a result, it is critical that you obtain relevant training and education before starting your own logging company. Part of what you need to do is enroll in a forestry degree or diploma program, and then after graduation, you can apply to and work for a logging company or the forestry ministry in your country. The truth is that being properly educated makes it easier to follow best practices when conducting business. In fact, there are laws that govern the logging industry, and it is your responsibility to ensure that you follow these laws. If you follow the logging industry closely, you will notice that it has been in recovery mode for the past five years, as construction activity has risen from its recessionary low point, driving industry revenue. Demand in the industry is expected to improve further in the future as the residential construction market recovers, and home improvement spending rises. Paper manufacturing, on the other hand, is expected to slow due to the continued trend toward electronic communication, as well as lower demand from key industrial players. The logging industry is large and active in countries such as the United States of America, the United Kingdom, Germany, Brazil, Argentina, France, Italy, Holland, Romania, Australia, and Canada, among others. According to statistics, there are approximately 49,828 registered and licensed logging companies, scattered across the United States, responsible for employing approximately 93,353, and the industry generates a whopping $16 billion annually. Between 2011 and 2016, the industry is expected to grow at a 2.3% annual rate. It is critical to note that Weyerhaeuser controls the lion's share of the available market in the industry. Step 2. Market Research and Feasibility Studies The demographic and psychographic composition of those who hire logging services or purchase logs from logging companies includes all players in the construction and furniture manufacturing industries, so the demographic composition for a logging business is all-encompassing. The truth is that there is a diverse range of customers available in the logging industry. In essence, your target market cannot be limited to just construction companies in your area, but must include all players who use logs in the city where you have a business presence. If you are considering starting your own logging business, you should broaden your target demographics. It should include construction companies, furniture manufacturing companies, boat builders, paper manufacturing companies, sawmills, timber merchants, pulp mills, and every other player in the cottage industries that use logs woods both within and outside of the location where your logging company operates. 3. Determine which niche to focus on. 
it is safe to say that there is no niche market in the logging industry. All players in the industry primarily engage in the purchase and leasing of log harvesting equipment and vehicles, which are then used to fell trees. The trees are then transported as saw logs to small businesses like sawmills and pulp mills. A logging company, on the other hand, may decide to focus on any of the following in addition to their core services. Softwood logs and bolts. Hardwood logs and bolts. Pulpwood manufacturing. Cutting timber. Transporting timber. Producing wood chips in the field. The competition in this industry extends beyond competitions among logging companies in your area. You are expected to compete with other businesses in the timber and wood-related industries both within and outside of your business location. As a result, it is correct to say that competition in the logging industry is fierce. The truth is that regardless of the level of competition in an industry, if you have done your due diligence and properly brand and promote your services or business, you will always make headway. Simply ensure that your workforce can provide thorough logging services, that you deal in in-demand logs, that you can provide excellent customer service, and that you understand how to attract and reach out to your target market. However, there are several logging companies and other players in the logging and timber industry that supply logs all over the United States. So, if you decide to start your own logging business in the United States of America, you will undoubtedly face stiff competition from logging companies and other logging and timber industry players who also supply logs. Furthermore, larger logging companies determine industry trends, and you should be prepared to compete with them for customers. If you found this video useful, please show your appreciation by clicking the like button. Also, let us know in the comments if you'd like us to make a long, comprehensive follow-up video to learn more about how to start a logging business. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button to see more videos from Sean Academy. An extension for education.